bound to roam Come on, or I'll be gone Or in rain, or to hear that train There she comes, won't you get on Watch the trees, the falling leaves Like the breeze, won't you blow All right, Gavin, I'll see you later. Thanks for breakfast. Tell, me, tell the wife it was very good. Uh, if you need me, I'll be out at the shop. Just give me a ring. Well, top of the morning to you, laddies. My name's E. Randleman Buck. Welcome back to the business series. Uh, just stopping by my buddy Gavin. We're just checking out, uh, getting some breakfast. But I got to go to Casey's and get a shot of diesel in this thing from last night and doing all the moving, so... Should be a fun one today. We don't have a whole lot going around. I know Jeff's going to have to do the molasses system on that Heston Baylor. Likely, I think Kevin's going to have to make a trip up to Cedar Rapids to uh, pick up a new uh, mower that's coming in. I can't remember. It was a trade deal. We sold off the Vermeer for it. But, uh, like I said, I got to head over to Casey's, at least get a thing of diesel. Maybe top off some coffee since uh, they didn't really have a good brew at Gavin's. You never made the best coffee. But without that and without going over the lines of the roads, I shall see you guys once we get over to Casey's. Up, up, up. We missed the pump. We missed the pump by a mile. Oh my, we really missed the pump. <laughs> Hold on, there we go. There we go. Hey, hey, Buck. Hey, King. Good morning. Yeah. Well, good morning to you. My goodness, you got an awful lot of pep. You must yep. have had your coffee already. Uh, no, I had to go get coffee because uh, I was down to my buddy Gavin's here. It's about a mile and a half south. Um, it's that one oh, farm dude. right off the highway or whatnot. His, he makes, they make some really good breakfasts, but they're horrible at making coffee. Ah, so, uh, I gotcha. It's kind that, of that, that bitter, bitter dark coffee, eh? Yeah, got kind of that turn your head and act like you're drinking it, but you're sadly burning yourself by dumping it down your back kind of coffee. Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel you, man. <laughs> See, and then I get here and I'm like, all right, I think my gas, ta I think my my fill tank's on the right side to then get out and see that my truck is 15 feet off the side of the pump. So it didn't matter what <laughs> side of the tank was on. That hose is not reaching that far. <laughs> DA award of the day goes to me. I got you, man. I got you. Oh, hey. Uh, man, while I'm here uh, grabbing coffee and breakfast, piece, I'm actually kind of happy I ran into you. Dude, I, I still I haven't been able to get those duels on that combine, man. I was wondering, were you able to maybe stop out with the service truck and uh, give me a hand with that today? I'd have to check my books. I don't think uh, Jeff, see, I don't think he has anything on the call book. I don't think they at least leave until sometime mid next week. So I believe I probably okay. could be able to. I'll check with Stacy okay. on it. Just, I'll give you a ring once I get back. That's where I was actually heading out there. I just had to fill up with diesel. But otherwise, uh, should be should be open at least for that truck. We don't have anything I going. I got you. Awesome. Yeah, I would appreciate it, man. Hey, just, you know, give me a call if you're able to. Um, that'd be that'd be nice. Say if I if anything, if I do it now, then I don't have to worry about it later. And then you can get going. I can get going and we're all happy. I, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> why stand in the round? My tummy's rumbling and my coffee is not getting any better. <laughs> I'm all get, and I am not Same. getting the pumpkin spice one. All right. It, I don't oh, care. Geez. That that. <laughs> I'm already seeing Christmas ads for Menards, and it's not even Halloween. Actually, it is Halloween. <laughs> Dang it, they were doing it back in September. <laughs> Dang, 11% rebates. Okay, now that I have a coffee that's at least eligible to be drunk, drunken. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting drunken <laughs> Drun coffee. Drunken? We're getting drunken? Dr <laughs> drunken dronuts. Absolutely. Can that hey, be a that's thing, a please? They got to trademark that. <laughs> <laughs> the drunken donuts. <laughs> Exactly. All right, dude. Well, hey, I'm I'm gonna get going though. Just let me know. Uh, let me know if you're able to stop out today. I appreciate right. it, man. Hey, fun fun new thing. I got rid yeah. of the GMC. I got a I, new whip, dude. I'm seeing that this truck is actually looking really good, man. It's very clean. Well, thank was you, that a sir. 2014? Yeah, I was kind of oh, lucky. My. I mean, I was looking around for something about here, but with the with the way the 
car economics are going these days, the markets, oh, yeah. and prices yeah. to find anything like this is absolutely horrible. I actually picked this thing up down in Norma, Oklahoma, Norman, Oklahoma. Wow. Wow. Uh, so it's, I mean, it's got that little bit of surface rust on the frame, but it's a clean truck. Guy undercoated it every two years or so. It's got 160,000 miles, but it's a Cummins. It's going to last four or 500,000 easily. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a clean truck, dude. I mean, I, I can feel you, man. I haven't been able to get a, a new truck yet, but <laughs> I mean, I can we'll keep you on the lookout. I've been in the dealer business. Well, I'm going to head up there. I'll make sure I can check the logbook. And I'll, if anything, I'll just head right back down to your place. How does that sound? Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that, man. I'm just going to be getting everything ready to go and starting to harvest up today, hopefully. So. All right, sounds Absolutely. good. We also have right. got the stuff going up there for inventory, kind of moving around. So if you do need service, maintenance, or if anything, new equipment, let me know. We also All get right. some stuff to help you out. Awesome. Thank you, bud. No appreciate problem, it. bud. Have a good one. You too. It's been a while since I've talked to King. It was fun. Oh, 10-point turn. The only thing lacking on this thing is a 10-point turn turn radius. Uh, hey, Stacy, can you tell me, do we have anything going for the service truck right now? Do we have any sort of calls that he has to go out on? Nate's, Nate got back. Okay, am I able to take that thing down to King down there on the other side of town quick? I got to help him install some duels. We're good? Okay. Yeah, we don't have anything going until, I believe, Monday. All right. Thank you. Just making sure. Okay, so we got the go-ahead green light. Uh, we don't have to have that truck on the road until at least Monday because it's got to go out to Scott's Bluffs. But we should be good to go. Everything should be packed up. I mean, it's. It, I believe we already have some hydraulic jacks to be able to lift that thing up. It shouldn't be anything too bad. Well, let's get on the road, shall we? A little cold in here. Got to turn on the heat. Don't need someone to save me. No. And don't come running to blame me. Mm. From miles away, I can tell there's something how you pause when you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are oh, yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry Cause if you're gonna 
Hey, bud, I got good news for you. Oh, hey, Box, did you get a new phone number? Yes. Uh, oh. I'm, on my, I'm on my business phone. Oh, I got you, I got you. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually on my way out right now. I just hit County Road uh, 13, so I should be about five minutes out. About two, actually, not five minutes, about two, three miles out. Okay, okay, copy that. Hey, I just realized uh, I don't, I don't think I have a tether for my Elf Alpha. Is there any way I'd be able to get one of those? Uh, I could talk to Daryl and see if he's got any. I kn that, I know I don't have one right now because it's not okay. the of course the hay wrapping up hay season to say the least. But I can yeah. get I can get on the phone and see if I can get something in this afternoon. Yeah, man, I'd I'd, I'd appreciate that. I, I I mean, I'm not gonna need it today, so it's not a big big rush. But uh, yeah, I, I will end up needing that here shortly. Okay. Well, I can see your barn, so I should be there <laughs> fairly quickly. Got me. All right. Hey. See you in a minute. Sounds good, bud. Try not to take out his mailbox. Dude, this alfalfa. I mean, it's probably one of the last times that we'll get to cut this year, so. I always love when I drove up into his place with that alfalfa. It just it always just looked good. I wonder where he's at, that's the only thing. I just meet him out back. I wonder if he's actually got the combine out. Oh no he does. There he is. Dang it, I'll turn around. Hey, do you need me to pop in the six R here and just move the pallet out? Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, we gotta we gotta get that pulled out here. Let me, let, yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll pull this forward. Otherwise, if we need to do the skid steer too, we can. Okay, I say, where's ex where's your skid steer at? Uh, she is parked on in that commodity base shed down there. Ah, uh, by okay. the feed truck. I'll get my, <laughs> I'll get my track days in. Okay. <laughs> Lightning McQueen over here. I am speed. Road again. I just can't, just wait, can't wait to, to get, get on, on the road again. My <laughs> Bible is making music with my friend. I can't wait to just puncture this tire with a pallet thingy. I'm getting real mad at corporate right now. They're trying to make me get a new um, a new semi. They don't want me running PD anymore just because he doesn't have many miles, but they're like, 600,000, we need to update you for state qualifications to meet. DOT status. I'm like, DOT my rear. PD is a strong truck. Honestly, I think that's when you just hold up three fingers and tell them to read between the lines, baby. Yeah, should be good to go. Uh, grab the lug sockets out of here. I'm not sure if we want to. Uh, do we have anything that can kind of like tilt the combine? Mm -hmm. nah, we should be good to go. Doesn't matter. I mean, I got, I got some wood. We want to use that. that. That'd probably be good. Uh, actually, I think I got a few of them in the back of the truck. They might be against the okay. wall. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, if you want to take this thing for just to spin around the yard quick, just so we can make sure those lugs are indeed on. And no, I did not put Loctite on them because I'm an intelligent human being, unlike last time. Mm. Um, mm. We yeah. should be good. All right. Yeah, I'll uh, take it for a spin real quick. Be right back. And okay. uh, yeah. Sounds good. I'll at least get my things off here so I don't do the jacks anymore, hopefully. All right, Buck. Well, I do appreciate it, man. I, I It's going to be nice having that ready to go now. Oh, yes, most definitely. And like I said, if you need any of that other stuff, I'll come out here and obviously help you. I'm not that mean of a person. <laughs> yeah, not I yet, at called. least. <laughs> I, might, I might need some hand when we start uh, doing some salad, but for right now, anyways, should be all right. Okay. Um... Are you doing about half and half for silage versus just regular dry corn? Yeah, once you dry it's it out? Most, yeah, it's gonna be uh, pretty much a half and half situation. I'm sure. I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna ha have that much cattle, so I don't know. I'm looking at trying to do about uh, half a bunker full of silage, and then just uh, we're gonna shell the rest of it for dry corn to sell. Okay, sounds good, bud. Uh, well, I'm man, gonna get back it. there. Most definitely. Yep. Have a good one. You too. You know, while we're at it, we might actually just stop by Clutch. Why not? He's not doing anything, right? Oh shoot, is he actually out in the field? I think he's out in the field. Oh, look at that! It is a Wood River truck. All right, that's good. Let's go. Let's go see what's <laughs> going on here. 
Well, well, well. Who do we have Buck? over there? Buck, is that you? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I have been looking for you all summer. About, about time you showed up. I mean, <laughs> you had my tractor for a good, like, two months. and I mean, I've I got been it back, back it and forth. Now. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, so I put Jeff on that project. Um, saddeningly enough, I'm not sure if you heard what the actual diagnosis was with that thing. Your radiator blew, which then caused your fan to basically just explode sometime. And the mere fact that the front end of your tractor wasn't in pieces was beyond us. Well, I mean, the front end kind of fell off, but I mean, I'm glad you fixed it. You yeah. got the, I, I paid the invoice for that. You got the money, right? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay, good. I put I put Gertie on that. Um, speaking of which, I don't know where the heck she is this morning, but just... whatever. Um, I don't know how much further I'm going to be able to get into this field with these, uh, <laughs> these oh, yeah. smaller SDS series ones. Um, are, do you have someone around who can bring something around today? Uh, as for right now, I actually am going back to the dealer. I don't have anything really else to do. So if anything, here's the actually, how about this? Do you want to be running three machines right now? I mean, it might help. I don't have the drivers for it. Do you, uh, do you I have... can come on out and help because of the fact, like I said, I don't really have anything to do. Grant is out pheasant hunting this weekend, so he's, his operation is down, and he's demoing my X9 with the tracks. So I can bring that tractor. With, that thing has a 16-row header right on it. He was going to well, think about purchasing what's that. What's he doing demoing? You should be giving those to me. Don't give them to him. I mean, come on. Well, he made the point that he has a million subscriber YouTube vlog channel oh, i don't yeah, know there's something about that you're right there is something about that it was for advertising but it, the guy t begs me for this combine and now he's out pheasant hunting so, so the operations just, are it's, it's like there. a wannabe farmer youtuber thing i get it i get Somewhat, it i totally yeah. get it yeah, i think, yeah, I think okay. that guy plays farming simulator or something like that yeah, it must be loser. something like that God, aren't we what all just a bunch of losers <laughs> 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 well I'll, actually i'll do that i'll run over there grab my truck Back at the lot, I'll grab the header off the trailer and I'll bring that thing out here. How about that? that I might need I might need you to ride with me. If you actually want to sure. pop in with me, well, we can have. Hey. Do you yeah, have anybody to run see, this? Or? Um, yeah, I don't know where Gertie and uh, uh, she's not showing up today, so I don't know where the heck she's at. She must have had a late night last night. Let me. Uh, I gotta Say, go shut off that. Uh, yeah, I gotta go shut go, eight series. And be right back. Okay. Well, back to business as usual, though. It's. I mean, how many acres do you think you got left? Oh, at least we we have at least a section left. So, ooh, that's not fun. Well, so the corn is only about a quarter section, but we got beans. I've still got to take off later on. Okay, so that's the other thing is we also have a few bean headers in now. I think okay. we might have a Draper belt or two for at least that. I know we got a Macdon with that like vacuum head or whatever it is. I can't remember that system on there. It's got that like nice yeah, the, vacuum the air system. blower. Yep, yeah, yep. it's got the blower system on it, and it's a forty-five foot Draper. So. Ooh, that would be nice. Now, the beans, I might be able to get away with just one combine, potentially, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. The corn, though, I'm getting about 215 uh, uh, bushels per acre right now. I'm kind of surprised at what we're getting off that. I was pleasantly mm -hmm. surprised. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, I haven't seen you around too much this summer. I was looking for you a couple days there, and it seemed pretty quiet on this uh, this part. So I'm glad to see you're back. Mm -hmm. Oh, most definitely. I so said we... It's been just a pain in the butt going around. I've been on business trips throughout the summer all all time long so you were probably just showing up when i was and i know the shop guys were there but it's just kind of a hit and miss when they're just yeah it's a pain in the butt which engine this heaven is it the diesel buck it's oh yeah gas into this thing oh that does it to you as well <laughs> oh, big time i don't know why it does that does it's, it sound like a diesel for you yeah See, okay, actually, I got a news. So, I like the diesels, but I also like gases, so I actually had an exhaust put system put on this thing, so it sounds somewhat like a gas to people, and sometimes it'll uh, sound like a diesel, okay. so. It's a really I weird I, system. I, I, didn't, I don't think I've ever seen uh, anything uh, with a gas engine with a standard transmission before, so that would make sense. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you... you Give give kudos to it's a mixture of Flowmaster and Borla, so <laughs> we kind of jerry rigged the system under the truck. Well, at least that's what the guy in Oklahoma told me. Who knows what they do down there? <laughs> I gotta grab this trailer though. Well, one of them. We got a. I got. A, I'm surprised a couple guys around here aren't doing that, but I actually have one of those drop pan hitches in here now. Okay. 
go. Just we should be good. I'd feel bad for Graham, but the amount of times that he's just kind of walked up and took something of mine is, I think, is just kind of returning the favor. Well, he doesn't look like he has too much left here anyways. There's that one little field behind us, so yeah, that'll be fine, I'm sure. He's got another one. I think it's a bean field, though, up about three miles north. Oh, uh, okay. Somewhere around there. Then he's got the entire bean field that's on the south side of this, the other 40. Ah, uh, fair enough. If you might want to, I'm not sure if you want to guide me at least onto the trailer. There we go. Here we get out. I would drive this thing down the road, but yeah, not happening. It'd be nice if we could fold that up, but yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. We actually do have a folding one. That, no, never mind. That one doesn't fold. We got a really nice corn here that's not deer, but colored deer, and it's cheaper. Sixteen Let's say you row. Let's another foot. There you go. Uh, oh, looks oh, pretty wait. close. Sorry, I fold up the schnoots. Schnoot gooch. Okay. Alright, you look good. Drop her down. Got that. Dropping. There we go. You want to drive this Perfect. thing? Sure, I'll take that. That sounds great. Okay. Uh, if, if you... I can't get off the... Ow! Jumped off my knees. Hurt my knees. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, oh, stinging. Right. It's only five steps. You should be all right, I'm sure. No, I just flat out jumped off the top, and I forgot that I am not 21 anymore. I'm just sure you'll be fine. Oh, you look, that you stings. Look spry. You look spry. Yeah. I'll tell that to my chiropractor and <laughs> pediatrician. Why did I just say that one? <laughs> all right. My, my pediatrician's my foot doctor, apparently. I know my doctors. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I don't even remember what a pediatrician is. I think that's a food doctor. Oh, yeah. Wow. One one slip of the tongue and you're just in deep. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. Actually, do you want me to follow you or you follow me? Buck, you can go ahead of me. It's all good, dude. Okay. That's the nice thing is this truck actually does have a CB in it. I don't know what kind of exhaust or vent system Grant has on that bin setup, but it's just been shooting smoke out of the ground for like the past five days. <laughs> All right, so Clutch and I are going to slowly put our way. He's kind of got a running, somewhat of a running game on me. He's making his way up the hill, uh, but I'm going to help him out get majority of this field done. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to stick around since we're only able to clog along safely at about three miles an hour. Hopefully we can get something done here at the corn. We'll speed it up a little bit long, longer, faster. But with that being said, thank you all so much for checking this one out. Be sure to smash that like button down below and check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You already know who is in it, and I shall see you all in the next one. Man out.